Tonight I'd like to read a poem by Ann Porter. Uh, Ann Porter did not start writing poetry till she was in her 60s. And she didn't actually publish her first book of poems till she was 83. Uh, this poem is particularly poignant for this time as we are near Easter. We're sort of leaning into Easter and many poets uh, will lean into this longing for the resurrection. And this year we're in an odd season because even as we are longing to celebrate Easter, we know that most likely we will not be gathering in churches and celebrating Easter. We will be at home. And so there's a sort of uh, both a longing for Easter and yet a realization that we can't experience it fully, which in one sense maybe is a good reminder that we and these poets are longing for yet an even greater resurrection, the resurrection of all things in Christ. So we long for Christ himself to be fully unveiled, even as all creation longs for the sons of righteousness to be revealed. So here is a little poem that's leaning in to resurrection, even as it's acknowledging personal fault, which might be good for us all to do as we have time to meditate uh, hopefully this will speak to you like it does me. This is called A Short Testament by Ann Porter. Whatever harm I may have done in all my life, in all your wide creation, if I cannot repair it, I beg you to repair it. And then there are all the wounded, the poor, the deaf, the lonely, and the old, whom I've roughly dismissed as if I were not one of them. Where I have wronged them by it and cannot make amends, I ask you to comfort them to overflowing. And where there are lives I may have withered around me, or lives of strangers far or near that I've destroyed in blind complicity, and if I cannot find them or have no way to serve them, Remember them, I beg you, remember them when winter is over and all your unimaginable promises burst into song on death's bare branches. Good evening.